crafters it's Jen here from infinity crafts and in this video I'm gonna walk you step by step on how to make these super adorable super cute fortune cookie Valentine's I'm gonna walk you through each step on how to ink on how to fold everything so let's get started All right, let's get started with our fortune cookie valentine instructions. Just gonna move that to the side. So in your kit, you're gonna have an ink block and it is either gonna be red, pink, blue, purple, green. There's some color options. So that's okay, whatever color you have, it's gonna be awesome. Just gonna move that to the side. You have um, a finger dauber foam to go with the ink. You will have a stencil and you'll notice on the stencil that in the corners on one side is going to be a little bit sticky and that is and they look like dots. It's going to be hard to see but maybe you can see that just a little bit. Those dots is what is sticky and that is just to help hold it over and help put the ink on there. You're going to have circles and this is what we're going to turn into the fortune cookie. You'll notice one side will have some double-sided tape on one of the sides and one side doesn't. And you'll have strips of paper that say to, from, and then happy Valentine's Day. This is gonna be the fortune inside of our Valentine. If you have newspaper or scratch paper or even parchment paper, you can lay it down for your work surface because you don't wanna get ink on your table or anything like that. So let's get started. You're gonna start with your circle and you're gonna see where the double-sided tape is and you're gonna turn that down. That side will be down. We're gonna ink the plain side. So we're gonna put the plain side up and then we're gonna take our stencil and we're gonna put the sticky part down over our circle. And you'll still use your hands to help hold it down when we do it. And then I'm going to use a different ink than that one just because I have this one open and I'm going to take our finger dauber but I'm also when I'm doing it I'm going to hold it with my other two fingers here on the side because if you don't it will fall off so it's more of holding if you don't want to put your finger in there and you just want to hold it from the top it's however it works best for you and I'm just going to put it in my ink pad I'm just going to blot it a couple times or dab it a couple times and I'll keep doing that when I need to, but it doesn't take a whole bunch of ink to put over. And then I'm gonna hold it down with my hand too. And then I'm gonna either dab or I'm going to go in a circle and spread it around. And then if I need more, I'm just gonna dab a couple times and then continue on. And until all the hearts on my stencil are nice and, if I'm moving the camera, I'm sorry. I'll try not to do it so hard but it's kind of the nature when and you can get some of your hearts darker some of your hearts lighter they don't have to be perfect and they all don't have to be the same and sometimes if you push it down blot it down and then twist it helps you gotta find the technique that works best for you and what you're comfortable doing and I'm just gonna take a look and there's some spots I missed I might want to darken up some of these, so I might just go back over. As long as your stencil hasn't moved and you've kept it down nice and sticky or with your hand or anything. And I think I kind of like that, so I'm going to put the lid back on my ink. And now we're going to take the stencil off and we'll see what it looks like. Ooh, I love it. And now I'm going to stick my stencil to the side until we need it for the next one. See how it's nice and all pretty hearts? So then I'm gonna set that to the side for a second and I'm gonna grab my fortune or my tag that says two from Happy Valentine's Day and I'm gonna fill it out. So two, but we'll make this to you. And then from infinity. So you're gonna have to fill one of those out for each one so now we're gonna move that up there and I'm gonna turn this over and this is where we're gonna take the backing 
off of this double-sided tape and you can just throw that back into the garbage or you can set it aside and make sure you clean up your mess afterwards I'm sure your mom dad grandma, grandma whoever is with you will appreciate you clean it up after yourself so now I'm gonna fold it kind of like a taco shell I'm not gonna crease the edge we want to leave it I'm just gonna bring up this other edge to where our sticky sided tape is and I'm just gonna press it together so then it's closed at the top but it's open at the bottom so I don't know if that's like a taco kind of with the tips closed or pierogi but we have that hole it's still rounded at the bottom I'm not gonna fold it or crease it and now we're gonna put the fortune inside of our fortune cookie so I just put it in I'm gonna make sure we can still see who it's to so when you go to hand them out you know who you're handing it to this is the tricky part we're gonna fold it in half it helps if you put one hand on this side one hand on this side and your thumbs in the middle and then push with your thumb and then fold it in half and you can see this side it kind of bent the paper up that's okay that's what the fortune cookie looks like but you see on this side we have that fortune cookie shape so this side and this side now I'm just gonna let that go because we'll be able to see where the crease is and now we're gonna grab out in our kit we have this thing in a sheet of paper and it will have it's hard to see but these are called glue dots you can see that circle on there that's adhesive so we see kind of where our crease is we're not gonna put it way down here because it won't want to hold very well so we're gonna kind of put it up kind of in the middle on the one half so from this crease to this edge we want to put our glue dot right in the middle so I'm just gonna take my paper with the it's kind of like wax paper or parchment paper with the glue dot and I'm gonna put it there I'm gonna rub where the dot is kind of hard and then I'm gonna pull the kind of the parchment or wax paper up and you can see that now that glue dot is now on my fortune there and then we're just gonna fold this in half again to stick it together and now that's gonna hold and now we have our fortune cookie Valentine and if your tag got moved that's okay we'll just fold it back out and that is how you make your fortune cookie Valentine and if you have any questions have someone contact us um, we're always here we're always willing to help and we hope you enjoy making these Valentines. I hope you enjoy passing them out to all your friends and we'll see you next time.